somewhere. Yeah, I'm about to get on that big ship. Just get out of here. Hey guys, and welcome to Constant Gaming. So excited to be here with you guys, starting a brand new channel, starting to do a lot of gameplay, and I intend on doing so many videos, so you guys are going to be way too inundated for jumping on this. It feels cool to be starting a new channel, and I'm really excited to start this with you. And so, starting right now, if you're watching this right now, right now as I upload it, I have zero subscribers. So if you hit that subscribe button right now, <clears throat> hit that subscribe button down below right now. You can, oh, sorry, I waited too long. That's my fault, that's my fault, guys. But still, if you get in right now, you can be one of the first few subscribers to the channel. And I promise there's gonna be so many gameplay videos that within a week you're gonna unsubscribe because there's just way too much for you to keep up with. But Subscribe anyways, just for the fun of it. So to start off, we're going to be starting today playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And I have played this game before, so it's going to be very few spoilers for me. So in order to make this interesting for you guys, I'm going to uh, crank that up uh, to uh, Grandmaster. And hopefully you guys will get a kick out of that. Ooh, that's hard committing to something. I've feel like I might regret this. But we're going to play on Grandmaster and we're going to go into this journey. And the objective of this channel is mostly to do games I've never played before. And I'm really excited about the upcoming fall and winter season. There's so many, so many good games coming out. We have Cyberpunk 2077, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, God of War 2. Well, I guess it's not God of War 2, but the second one in this, in the Norse Gods mythology. Um, Spider-Man, Mike, Mor uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales is also coming out, and so many more that I'm really excited to be diving into it. And definitely, as those games are released, I'm going to be right there pumping them out so you can enjoy the content. So depending on how you enjoy watching these videos, whether you're watching them while eating chips on your couch, or if you're playing along with me, which is also really fun. Um, we can go on this whole adventure of this new upcoming game series, and, and I'm really excited. It's also about to hit the release date of the PS5, and any time a console comes out, there's a huge game dump, which means there's so many cool games that we're going to be diving into in the next couple months. So, hope you guys are excited about this as I am, because I definitely am. I don't want to upset your rhythm, Cal, but the boss wants a word. It'll be good for us. Here he is, Chief. An error has been detected on line 10A. Polar clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy maneuver. The gal will double your pay for this shift. Come on, Cal. What's her score? That couldn't hurt. Huh? Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Get to work. This way. I'm right behind you. And we're off. It's... I don't know what I was expecting when Fallen Order came out. It's... There's such a big variance on what Star Wars games can end up being. Some of them end up being so... So good, some not... I'm still haven't forgiven Battlefront for just being such a huge disappointment. I remember the Battlefront 2 when that came out for PS2 was such an amazing game. And I think that's what everyone wanted. We just wanted Battlefront 2 again, but we wanted better graphics. Yeah. Ages. Breaking her will be big money. Alright, let's go. Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, well, Battlefront 2, we just wanted, like, the same game with better graphics, but, like, that same level of storyline that was so immersive. And, cool, hey, the okay? hero play of, like, Jedi yeah. and Sith That's fighters good. and the lightsaber reaction. It was so you fun. And ever you since then, it's... Immediately. You are not approved, trash. And trash? Just not approved, trash. Uh, me too, Cal. Me too. Um... But this game, and it's so different than most Star Wars games that we've ever had before. And just the huge component of it, uh, it has this platform traversal, which I'm never sure how I feel about platforming games. Just passing through. My, my main issue with it is just... It can get really frustrating to die in a platforming game. And now we're playing on Grandmaster, and that's a whole extra level of scary. Because at least if I die in battle, I know it's my fault because, you know, I should have fought better. I should just get good, like they say. That's the idea. But when you die from falling down, it just feels like... It feels a little embarrassing, like... I can't believe I died from falling down too many times. Sounds like scrap rats. So hopefully I'm gonna manage to make it through this playthrough through, without any deaths. Need to come out and say hi this time. Let's call it right now. Zero deaths. But I'm gonna put on screen right there. You guys can see it. I can't, but I know it's there. So trust me, I know it's there. It's gonna be a death count that's gonna be rolling. So. Hey, Cal. If that doesn't add an extra level of stress for me, I know what does. Not only am I playing for all you guys, you guys can all see my horrible, horrible gameplay, but you guys can also see how many times I've died. And it's gonna be real, it's gonna be honest. I'm gonna do zero cuts in these videos too. Uh, except for if there are technical difficulties, which, I mean, I can't do anything about. How'd you get here? How'd you get here? Yeah, how'd you get here? Um, but I'm going to do zero cuts so you guys can see everything. Uh, and if I, if I just get stuck on something for too long that it won't be enjoyable, I'll like fast forward through it, but I'm not going to explicitly cut anything out. So I can't possibly lie to you. It should be seamless. And if I die, you will see me die and I'm sure it will be spectacular. Like, it's interesting, like, this whole shipwrecking rig. If you take a moment and just... Use the manual override lever below. Hang on, Prof. I'm just looking around. Um, if you look around, it's, it's really scenic. But if you look at where people are working from, look at all the jumps I had to do to get here. Are all these guys jumping to get here? Or is there a staircase that I just can't use because I'm the main character? really feels like it's some form of discrimination to not let the main character use the staircase. Hold on. All right. Lab secured. Whoa. You okay? Still here. Give me a fright there, pal. Done. Hang on. I got this. I mean, you have to assume that there's a simpler way to get there just because Prof got there. And Prof would, like, barely jumped around. He's not doing any of the swinging nonsense. But take a look at this. I feel like there was probably a less stressful it's way to get fighter. here. What a score! It's a real scrap and payday. I mean, this thing's been here, what, four years? Five. <laughs> Whoever flew this went down in a blaze of glory. Those Jedi. Real tragedy. Yeah, I've always said they couldn't all be traitors. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I guess it's just our lucky day. Empire's gonna get a lot of good material out of it. Yeah, here we are, scrapping these ships from the war, just so they can turn around and make new ones. What a racket, huh? All of us risking our necks for the bosses. And the pay was better back during the Republic, too. Hey, you really should watch what you say. Listen to me. Find us free like this? It'll be your ticket off this soggy rock. 
What makes you think I want out of here? <laughs> Come on, Cal, you're a young guy. You don't end up like me. <laughs> Eventually, you gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. Whatever you say, hey, we should get back down. You're not listening to me. What is that? So I'm not sure if you guys know more about the Star Wars universe than I do, but wh why exactly would that little tiny Jedi ship be worth so much money? It feels like it wouldn't be worth anything. It also feels like there shouldn't be a finder fee for it. Like, didn't someone own the ship? The whole thing is there. I don't know. Just hang on. I'm slipping. No, don't let go. I, I can't hold on. No. no! I'm also struggling to see. Okay, we gotta, we gotta move. Come on. Yeah. Uh, what happened? Uh, what was that back there? Was, it, was that you? What, that, that was the force, wasn't it? Just forget what you saw, okay? Please no, trust me. I've seen the, I've, I've seen the stories. I've heard it. The bounties out on people like you. I know. Like I know. Yeah, we're ready. We need to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like a weird place to be do holding a scrapping yard above some sort of weird tentacle monster. But I guess just that's how they roll. You holding up okay? Good. Yeah. You? Yeah. Kel. I've been working with you some time now. I've never seen you do anything like that before. <laughs> We've been through some hell together. <laughs> so, I know the risk that you took for me. I just, I don't know how to repay you. Don't mention it. I mean it. Oh, you don't have to worry about me. This place, it's not safe. up on the Mount Shadoa. Yeah. You won't be seeing me for a while, Prof. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, Kel. You feel like with all the adrenaline pumping through you, like you just blew your cover as someone who's force sensitive, and now you're worried that the Empire's gonna come after you. With all that adrenaline inevitably pumping through you right now, you think you'd be able to fall asleep that easily? You'd have to be exhausted. To be fair, he does have a manual labor job, so he probably is exhausted. But I know I, for one, would just be panicking. I would be browning my pants Bro, and unable to just casually fall asleep on a monorail. I'm not fully sure what they're on. Public transportation. Keep 
No! Let me go with him! Let me in! Fine. I just walked right into Hermione of Bag from Harry Potter. You know the one that's like infinitely sized? Oh, that was not a great reference. The tent from Goblet of Fire, which is just way bigger on the inside. I have no one trying to go for it. Mark well and listen. Master. Trust only in the Force. No, seriously, was he trying to help me there, or was he trying to scare the crap out of me? Train has stopped. Yeah. Something's going on. It feels like he was trying to give me a, some words of wisdom Everybody from beyond up. the veil. Identification and ready. it just came out like a threat. <laughs> Move out and line up. Probably just another contraband inspection. Is this all of them? Yes, second sister. We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. <sighs> Failure to turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. Turn yourself in. Or everyone present shall face summary execution. I think it's time someone came forward. I, uh, I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. <laughs> and engineers became scrappers. The workers? They just started getting worked. Prof. We all know the truth. We're just too afraid to say it. To the Empire. We're all just expendable. Yes. You all. <laughs> no! Look at this. A lightsaber. I found the Jedi! <laughs> My god, is it ever lucky that Nine Sister chooses to drop me instead of just kill me? A horrible decision. Hold it, go move. How'd you get here? I'm just, Easy you know, chilling. How'd you get here? Got a stowaway. Hey, you don't need to call this in. Yeah, I know. Let's have a talk about it. Okay, that's. I said don't call it in. Like, I tried to have a reasonable conversation with the guy, and he was just not having it. Jedi? Stay sharp. It's a traitor. Blast him. Whew. Oh, these are in a thought I was so close, I was getting so, so good. Like, I know like how like short the parry time is, but god damn it. 
I know how little of a window you have to parry on Grandmasters, so I was really surprised that I got as many of those parries right away as I have. So I'm really rusty. One way out. So if you guys don't know your Star Wars canon, Fallen Order is taking place Gotta keep moving. after Order 66. I think it's been five years since Order 66. So the Empire has risen and wiped out all of the Jedi. I chose to rest instead. That's how I prepare. That's how you prepare for death. Jedi, I actually don't remember the controls, so I'm really happy that. So I'm really happy again for refresher because I do not remember the controls at all. Get up and fight. Holy crap. Blast it. Right on target. Just give up. That was a Jedi. Well, that was embarrassing. Uh, nothing feels more embarrassing than dying in the uh, tutorial area. Uh, I'm just going to sit and be filled with shame for a while. To be honest, I haven't played this in a long time, so I don't remember it fully. But I also don't remember where your health bar is, apparently, because I was staring down at the middle of the screen. What I realized now was the force meter, and I thought that was my health. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm doing completely fine. I don't have to worry about anything. That was not my health. And I had to worry about a lot. So. Alright, attempt number two. Really embarrassing. Oh, I can't believe I'm already one death in. I was hoping I could at least make like zero deaths at least till... Bagano? Um, apparently I'm shite. Eyes up! On it! Right. Well, it's good parry practice for me anyways. I'll never stop. Damn it! I know the reason why I'm like just taking the block on the first enemy. Can't run from us. Hold still. Is because I know that the. I won't let up. Holy crap! I'll break your guard. It's because I know that for the very first enemy. You actually have to block his attack, but if you try to parry it, you'll just keep on facing endless waves. I didn't realize that apparently on Grandmaster. God damn it, take a hit. Apparently on Grandmaster, in that little tutorial area, they send like a lot of guys at you. And I thought it was just one at a time, like the other tutorial rounds, but no. Nope. A, lot, a lot of bad dudes. So it's cool to see a story that fits so well into the Star Wars canon. In fact, I don't think there are any canonical errors with the story at all, which is way more immersive than a lot of the other Star Wars games where I mean, they're fun in their own right, being games, but... Let's keep up! Yes, I'll take a hit! Two deaths. You know what, I might be in over my head about this. This might just be the cavalcade of watching me die a hundred times. Maybe the real goal should be not to die one hundred times on Grandmaster. Alright, schlubs. 
You might have me the first time, and possibly the second time, but not the third time, because now I'm just coming in the... Damn it! Alright, I am truly getting my ass kicked here. I have like half my bright. health to get Stop through like train. four guys. There's probably a much more tactical way I could have done that. Oh, no. I, Need cover. I could have just gotta move in between bursts. Strategically. Now Faster! Here! I'm ready for you. <laughs> you shot the coupling out. Gotta get down! Yeah, I guess I could have just strategically ah. fought them one ah. at a time. But. I don't know. I think I'm just being really cocky because. This is the beginning of the game. I'm not expecting these schlubs to be able to kill me. But apparently they can, so... I think I need to be much more fearful and on guard. Whoa! This is bad! But in positive news, I'm not mostly being Only killed by up. falling. And that is... genuinely what I was worried about in this playthrough. I thought I was going to make like a hundred Fallen Order jokes about how I am just falling all over again. Oh. Well, speaking of falling and falling, there we go. Space friend. You know, I really do like this game, but one of my only pet peeves with it, and well, one of my only complaints with the game is that it does not let you skip cutscenes. And I, I, on the one hand, it's really well done. The cutscenes are really well done, so you don't necessarily want to skip the cutscenes. And if this is your first playthrough, I can imagine you never wanting to skip the cutscenes. So you'd be like, that's not that bad. But for the most part, this game does have some replay value. And... And because of that, not being able to skip cutscenes is annoying as all hell. Because... Because... Like, if you try to redo the game, you have to watch all the cutscenes again. And this game has a lot of cutscenes. I mean, we're already like nearly 20 minutes into the game, if not more. And of that, maybe five minutes of me being running around with lightsaber, and the rest of it is all being now. cutscene after cutscene. Train stopped? This can't be good. Whoa. I mean, I have like no health, so it's definitely not good. 
Good thing is, I don't think you can actually yeah. mess this up, but we'll see. I'm about to get on that big ship. Just get out of here. I recognize that stance. Perhaps you've had some training after all. Who was your master? Padawan? Someone I killed, perhaps. Like, look at those what legs. Jedi gave their life so that look at the fashion. How did the Empire recruit, like, the most attractive girl in the galaxy? You bleed like all That's the a real question. Now, because I have, like, no health, the fight went on for no time. What a waste. Holy crap! Okay, that was just me being stupid. I was just commenting to you guys and not paying attention to the actual fight. Yeah, that fight, I don't think you can lose to second sister unless you do... Exactly what I just did right there. You can't match my speed. I'm already evading, like, come on. Take that, and that. I just want to end this fight. Come on! I'm like really upset that my last death there was because I failed to button mash hard enough. Bye, loser. See you never. some seat. I mean, second sister's Thanks, clearly man. dead because she just fell off the spaceship. So. My name is Seer Junda, and this is my captain, Reese Dritus. How you doing? Yeah, the man is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. So, who are you? Cal, Kestis. Who was that back there? Imperial Inquisitor. She's a Force user hunting Jedi survivors. And now that she knows who you are, she will not stop until she destroys you. How do you know so much? And why'd you help me? We track Imperial communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Braca. So we made our move. Oh, yeah? And what's the bounty on Jedi these days anyway? That's gratitude for you. Look, I get it. You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to trust anyone. And it's what's kept you alive. But this is about something bigger 
than just surviving. Like what? Like rebuilding the Jedi Order. <gasps> That's the name of the game! You too? Anybody else? Oh, we're not good enough for you? The Jedi Council? They're gone. So I'm all you've got. Captain, set a course for Bagano. In the meantime, try and relax. Go, you're safe. For now. You gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. Calico! You were talking in your sleep, weirdo. <laughs> oh. I think the worst thing about dying from falling in Jedi Fallen Order is that you would be the only or practically the only person in Star Wars universe to die from falling. Especially the only Force-sensitive person. The only other person, I think, in the entire Star Wars universe that has died from falling was Mace Windu. I got work to do. And, admittedly, he was pretty much dead by the time he was thrown out of a window. And so, besides that, the only person who... Like, no, no one, not a single person dies from falling in the Star Wars universe. Mace Windu was like a weird example, but then there's also Darth Maul from The Phantom Menace, who gets chopped in half and thrown off a cliff, and that's still kicking around. So, fall damage is not really a thing in the Star Wars universe. and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. It's an echo in the force from the object. Not many Jedi have that skill. How would you know that? I was once a Jedi, but not anymore. Do I know you? No, but I knew your master, Jaro Tapal. He was a true guardian of the Republic was a hero. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but my connection to the Force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cal. And you're not alone. Not anymore. We'll come up on our destination. This is Pagano. A Jedi I knew discovered it before the Purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists? No. So, what's the plan? We hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? 
I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. And since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But, until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. May the Force be with you. Hey, you know, you have a spaceship and everything. Couldn't you just save us all a lot of time and just park the spaceship, you know, right beside the thing you want me to walk to? Like, I'm looking for a Jedi then. Look how cute these things are. Ah! Um, but, hey friend. Hey friend. Hey friend. Um, Considering how much of this game is about platforming and so jumping, place to meditate. you figure Just that, to focus my mind. like, the fact that so much of it is around jumping and not falling off things, that you figure it doesn't make sense in the Star Wars universe if you think about it. Because we have a spaceship. We can just fly there. Like, it... Am I crazy? You could just, you could, you could just fly there. Anyways, guys, uh, I think that's going to be it for episode one. We're going to pick back up uh, after we meditate here. And I spend my first skill point on... Um, probably overhead slash. I'm going to do that right now. So... Yay, I have my first ability. But I'm going to end this video here. And I guys will see you in the next one where we're going to go through Bagano and we're going to go all the way through it. And hopefully, I don't know exactly how much I'll be able to cram into one video, but I'm hoping that I can get all the way through Bagano and, you know, into the next world. Because these lightsaber battles and getting more abilities is what's really about. And I think before you even have your force powers, you're just kind of, you know, useless. I guess I have force slow, so I'm going to be leaning on that a lot in the next episode or so. But I really want to get into the deep force powers and really, you know, get all these skills on the skill tree. And, you know, I really want to just play around with it. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. And, yeah, bye. See you there, guys. Hope you're having fun. Stay safe out there.